Hello and welcome to another Blu-ray update video. It's been a little while and I've only picked up two Blu-rays today. But before I talk about those, I want to mention a few things that uh, I got from a friend. A couple of things from a Loot Crate. He's a subscriber to Loot Crate. I'm not, but he didn't want to keep these, so he gave them to me. So thank you to my friend Jens for giving me these. Uh, really cute, plush face hugger. Adorable. Just giving out free hugs. Very, very cute. We also have this very cool Alien vs. Predator pin. Very nice. I recently repurchased the uh, 2000 classic PC game Alien vs. Predator and it is awesome. Uh, if you haven't played that game, go to GOG.com and grab it. It's a lot of fun. Uh, they have a lot of like classic old timey sort of 90s, early 2000s PC games. So if you're of that generation, uh, go to that website and check it out. But this is a really cool pin. I really like this. You got the Alien there on the left. And the Predator on the right. Very nice design. You also have this uh, Batman v Superman wallet. Pretty cool. It's uh, kind of flimsy and it's made of this lightweight paper material. But uh, mighty wallet. But nice design for sure. I doubt I'll actually be using this. But it's a kind of cool collectible that you can you know keep around, have around. You might even uh, display it like this somewhere. That would be kind of cool. So. Thank you for that. And finally, we have this very cool vinyl. I think they're called Titan figures. This is of the Predator, Michonne's boyfriend. Very nice figure, he even has a little uh, spear there. Uh, his head doesn't move much, but he's got a nice shoulder cannon. And yeah, that was the final thing included in this, you know, loot crate uh, or these loot crate spares. So thank you so much to my friend Jens for uh, giving me these. He didn't want them, so. This goes great with my pop vinyl figures. They're almost exactly the same size. It looks really cool next to Pennywise, Jason, and Reagan. So that's where I keep them. Anyway, today we're actually going to be talking about Game of Thrones. I just picked up uh, the first two seasons in these lovely steelbook editions. I meant to wait with Game of Thrones. I wanted to wait until there was a complete box set. But then I saw these beautiful limited edition steelbook editions. As you can see, it's a limited edition with a collectible sigil magnet and they also have Dolby Atmos sound which is the highest quality sound format you can achieve in today's standard but you need a very special receiver and sound equipment to be able to play that which I don't have but even if you don't have that it is backwards compatible so you can still listen to the sound with any surround sound setup so this is season one this is the Winterfell sigil and we're going to open this one up in just a second and have a closer look. There we go. That's a pretty good look at the cover there. Winterfell cover. Very nice. Here's the back. If anyone is curious, I do have the entire book collection, A Song of Ice and Fire. In fact, they are right over there. Uh, some of them are. I've got some of them elsewhere. And I also got the book The World of Ice and Fire, which I really, really recommend if you want to, you know, take a really deep dive in the universe of Game of Thrones. It's got all the prehistory, all the family trees, all that stuff, and it's amazing. Anyway, I'll look at the bonus features. Complete Guide to Westeros, in episode guide, Anatomy of an Episode, Hidden Dragon Eggs, Making Game of Thrones, Creating the Show Open from the book to the screen, seven audio commentaries, creating the Dothraki language, Night's Watch, and character profiles. I've seen all of Game of Thrones already. I've seen all five seasons. And the sixth season starts on Monday. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. If you're wondering why I said Monday, it's because I'm in Sweden. So when they air on Sundays, we get to watch them on Monday. It's just the way it works around here. We're going to open this up as well. All right, now I see how they've done this. Very, very cool. So the sigil here that sits in the middle is an actual magnet. Uh, so you can remove that. But since it's a magnet, it of course uh, grips onto the steelbook. Very nice. This is the uh, Winterfell sigil, the first season. Very, very nice attention to detail there. Just exquisite. Go. And this is your actual steelbook for season one. And you see the indent indentation there. It's kind of debossed. Uh, that's where you place the actual sigil. This is nice. I, I like this a lot. 
damn, this is cool. <laughs> very, very nice. I was very curious about how these were actually packaged, but that's such a cool, that's such a cool little uh, trait there. And I believe this is actually Winterfell from the opening credits or part of it. Uh, such an amazing show, Game of Thrones. It's a fantasy, but it's mainly a political show. It's based a lot on the characters and the drama. And it's very political. It's got a lot of intrigue, a lot of blood, a lot of gore. And it also has the best production design I think I've ever seen in a television show ever. In other words, it is probably the best photographed and it's got the best costumes, it's got the best sets. It's just the most gorgeous television show I think I've ever seen in my entire life. Okay, so... On the left hand side you have three discs, one, two, and three, and on the right hand side you had two discs, discs four and five. And this is the artwork on the inside. I don't know if we can get a better look at that, but it's a tree with some fallen leaves, like so. Alright, so that's what it looks like sort of reassembled. Disc one, two, and three, and discs four and five. We close this on one up, and then you can choose to either have the sigil right on there like that, and you can place this cover on there, protective sort of cover, like so. Very, very nice. And then you can slide it back into the box, which I'm not going to do right now, because we are going to talk about Season 2. I should mention that these limited edition steelbooks are released two seasons at a time, and they're, they're a couple of months apart. So as of right now, you've only got seasons one and two available. That's why I only bought those two, obviously. And seasons three and four are gonna be available in June. So I'm guessing it's gonna be a long time until we see season five and six, because uh, season six is just starting. So it might be well over a year until we get seasons five and six, maybe. I mean, that's my guess, so. If you want these limited edition steelbooks, you're going to have to be patient, but I just couldn't pass it up. Uh, this is season two. This is the King's Landing theme. Here's the back. Bonus features include War of the Five Kings, Histories and Lore, In Episode Guide, Hidden Dragon Eggs, Trading the Battle of Blackwater Bay. That was a great episode. Game of Thrones, Inner Circle, The Religions of Westeros, 12 audio commentaries and character profiles. There we go, and we'll open this one up as well. So when you open that up, you've got this protective plastic. We've got the King's Landing sigil there. Very, very nice, I must say. I love the attention to detail here. This is really something special. And I love the sort of added incentive of not only getting these beautiful sigils that you can remove or keep with the still books or uh, keep together or either way you like uh, but You also get the Dolby Atom sound which is good if I ever upgrade my you know sound system in the future Which I hope to do and this is a look at the actual steelbook itself uh, Season one is mostly introduction. I think season two is where things really sort of start to kick off um, if I remember correctly uh, it's such a rich show. There are so many characters, so many plot lines. There's so much going on, and I sort of love the fact that even though it has fantasy, it's a lot more character-driven, and it's more about plotting and politics, and it's actually inspired heavily by the historical War of the Roses, among other things. So there is a real uh, historical basis for the show. Just recently finished reading this, the first half of the book, The World of Ice and Fire, and that really details all the kings, all the Targaryen kings, and the plotting, and everything that they went through. Alright, so this is slightly different from the other one. This one has three discs on the right and two discs on the left, which is the opposite of season one. And of course, you've got uh, part of the opening and credits, which I imagine is King's Landing in the background there. It's a little bit light in here, so it's a little hard to see, but I think you can sort of make it out there. Alright, I'm going to close this one up as well, and then I'll give you a side-by-side. -side. Season 1, which is Winterfell, and Season 2, which is King's Landing. Those are the first two collectible 
limited edition steelbooks of Game of Thrones. As I mentioned, seasons three and four are going to be available in June. I can give you all the details in the description if you want to check those out. And yes, uh, this is a disgustingly well-made, highly entertaining show that is very plot and character heavy, but has a lot of dark, uh, fantastical elements as well. It's a very mature show. It's a very dark, very adult. It has a lot of curse words, a lot of nudity, a lot of graphic sex and violence, which is always wonderful. But some people might not agree with that. So, one last time. Winterfell Sigil, King's Landing Sigil, still books by themselves, and here are the two lovely sigils. Hope you guys have a beautiful day. I'm really looking forward to making my complete Blu-ray collection video, but I'm going to hold off on that for a little while because I just want a couple of more movies in there. I've ordered a couple of still books and they are spread out over a couple of months, so I'm going to try to make a new video in a couple of months and it's going to be really cool. I think it I think I may actually split it into like three or four videos because it's just going to be a long one otherwise but um really really looking forward to that. Thank you for watching this video and I will catch you in the next one. Have a great day. And remember still books are coming. <laughs>